Science and Experiment Center of City Lillard. This will be the first time for me to uh, explain everything for visitors in English, so if I won't be able to do it uh, very smoothly, so please excuse me. I'll do my best, alright? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, you can film, you can take photos, but uh, only with one uh, rule. You have to put it on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> alright. So let's start with this one. Uh, this is an exercise bike and you can produce electricity with it. And we will try how easy or hard it is to produce an electricity and uh, we'll try different kind of electrical equipment. Who would, who would be the first one who is the volunteer to try Me. turn pedals? <laughs> You start to turn the pedals, you have to turn so that the green light comes up here, not faster, the green one, up. Yeah, okay, no worries. So, is it, is it easy for you to turn pedals at the moment? No? So, how about now? Still easy? So, now you are producing electricity for this light bulb. This is an economical LED light bulb. And of course, you hear the music. Please, wow. please stop for a short while. Please stop for a short while. No electricity, no disco. Oh. Ah, okay, go on again. Go on again. So, it's easy, right? You could do like that for half an hour or an hour, right? Okay, let's do like. Uh, no, 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 no. I will tell when you should stop. Don't worry. I will talk very slow. <laughs> Alright, how about now? Yeah. It's harder. How do you think why? Are there any ideas? More, yeah. more load. Yes, definitely. This one needs a lot more energy. 15 times more energy than this one. This is a typical light bulb, and this is a modern economical LED light bulb which consumes only three and a half watts of electricity. This is a typical 60 watt light bulb, still allowed by European Union to use like that. Okay, but uh, we have. Oh, go on, go on. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a What is this? I catch all. Electrical teapot or electrical kettle, yeah? Are you ready? <laughs> Green light, please. Oh, and like that. Is it hard? It, it consumes. Uh, 20 times more, no, it's 300 watts, so it is 100 more times energy than this light bulb. Very hard. How do, you, how do you think, how long you have to turn pedals so you get the water boiling here? Last a day. Five minutes? I don't know. 30 minutes. 30, 30, minutes. 30 yes, 30 minutes. And uh, you wouldn't be able to do that alone. I have tried, I can turn it for like a minute or a minute or a half with the green light and then <laughs> then you have to change somebody else. Okay, who's next? Who's next who wants to try? Don't be shy, please come and try. When you... So, easy one. Yes, it's already on easy mode at the moment. Yeah? No, just the music, right? It's so easy. And this one. You don't feel on your legs any. Green light, please. Green light. It means it's already too much electricity. This cannot go more than 15, it's maximum. Easy, right? And what about now? <laughs> and what about the uh, teapot? <laughs> and when I switch on all the switches at this moment, now you are trying to produce electricity for one table computer, table PC. If you can't turn pedals, you don't have Facebook or whatever you want to say. Usually I'm saying this for children who wants to play video games or computer. Then I say, if you can't turn pedals, you don't have Counter-Strike or Minecraft, whatever you're playing. Okay. That's enough for me. Who's next? Who wants to try? I, I advise to try everybody. No, everybody should try. Nobody wants to? Come on. Show how, how, it's, how it must be done. Yeah. You're strong. You look like a strong guy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green light. Easy, right? And like this. 
now you can understand the why you have to change all the light bulbs to these economical ones. Oh, well, that's because they know this. Pressure. And the Paul is going to be oh, there's no difference. Yeah, there's no difference. Okay. <laughs> this is a strong guy, I see it. But it's yellow, yeah, it's yellow, it's not green. Oh, uh, he it's has to turn a little bit more. Can you get the green light? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. How much? 28 more minutes. <laughs> 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 we will have to pull you upstairs. Who <laughs> <laughs> wants to try? Who wants to try? Come on, try. Come on, try. try. Come on, Come on, try. Come on, try. Come on, if the first grade children can do it. Patricia, Patricia. <laughs> Oh, it's good, it's good. 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 Thank you. That's one. That's all. That's all. That's all. Okay, come on, come on, come on. If the seat is too high or too low, just say it's easy to adjust it as you need. Okay, go on. Let's restart the music. Like this. <laughs> And a teapot. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yes, 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 and computer. No way. No computer. No computer. No computer. Okay, I don't like computer. Yeah. I'll explain you and then you will be able to go around by yourselves. And as a simple, this one. It's hard, right? And the computer. Very strong. And then you don't need central heating. Each of these objects we have here, uh, just to tell you shortly that uh, in this center mostly we are working with class groups with children uh, with uh, primary school children uh, class groups are coming here and we are having uh, experiment lessons here experiment with electricity with uh, light with sound with magnets and uh, with uh, water and uh, we are having these lessons for one and a half hour and then afterwards we are also taking a look around of all these exhibits inside and also outside we will go afterwards. And so you will be able to do a lot of things here. I will just show you shortly what can you do with this one. Oh, you can leave it, don't worry. You can go build pyramids or as high as you can, like this. And about this exhibit, about this object, you can see that this is a plastic container which is full with the wooden pieces at the moment. It's totally full. It's a, I, I usually call it as a three-dimensional puzzle. And uh, your task is to put all these wooden blocks inside again, so it looks like this one. As you see, the colors, the lower line is totally red, uh, fully around. The second line is orange, around yellow one and the white one. Now I will take these blocks out, shuffle them a bit, and afterwards you will have to put them back. I will cut downstairs to the next All right, no problem. Everybody can do whatever he wants. But it's not obligatory work here. So, and these two objects I will leave in here so that you have something to start I will show you that if there is a paint on the block, this means it's always looking outwards, mm -hmm. outside. If there is no paint, it's always looking to the inside of the container. Okay, let's move on to this one. 
Come on, come on, come closer. This object uh, demonstrates uh, different kind of simple mechanisms. Uh, how different kind of simple mechanisms in in uh, work in the process. Everything you have to do is turn this handle clockwise and watch how balls are going up and then watch how they go down again and you have to understand uh, how many different ways are in here and why do those balls go a different way each time and you have to understand why it's like that should there uh, should be three balls one of them is somewhere already on the ground it looks like oh no here the third one so you will turn by yourselves, try to understand why balls are going different ways each time. It won't go twice the same row. Teaching children uh, about the electricity. I will switch on the uh, wind generator. And now the wind comes out from this pipe. And this wind generator starts to work. And it really produces electricity at the moment. This is a wind turbine which produces electricity. As you see, the light, light bulb is... Uh, there we and uh, we see the fault method is at the moment showing three balls. When I switch on the second light bulb, the fault method shows lower uh, amount, and these light bulbs are a bit dimmer. Why? Because light, both light bulbs are not as uh, bright as before. So the question is why this one is uh, burning very bright. And now, all the light bulbs are Yes, thank you. It's so easy, right? <laughs> okay, and let's try this one. So, at the moment, we will switch off many lights. We are producing 5 volts of electricity. And I will switch on the economical LED light bulb. Yeah? You can see how much this... Uh, Falls down only for a half a wall, right? And when I switch off, the, you switch on the classical light bulb. How it falls down, and you can even hear how it's uh, turning slower. And uh, they, this is the same situation as down there with uh, the bike. When you have an uh, economical light bulb, it's very easy to turn that off. Uh, as soon as I switch on the uh, next light bulb, or even the uh, electrical teapot. It's hard for you to turn, the same view you do. It's hard for the generator to turn. It's easier, or easier, or You can now experiment by yourselves afterwards, but just don't put your fingers in there. It's very simple, actually. We have a picture here uh, with, the, with the roads, with crossroads, and you can see that on one direction cars are going, on another direction cars are standing. You have to light up the uh, Kai, looks it for some traffic lights. Traffic lights, yeah, okay. You have to light up the traffic lights so that it is correct uh, accordingly to the picture. And you can do like this. You have to put two, two of these wires to the each of the uh, lamps you want to switch on and you have to switch on the light. It won't tell you if it's correct or not. You have to understand by yourself. Uh, whether it should be here green or red, or green or red, green or red, you have to decide by yourself. Now what you have to do? You have to be very patient to do this one. Uh, your task is to go through all the wire, not touching it. Yeah? Okay. And if you touch one, two, three and four times, you are, you, your game is lost. You have to push that button and you have to start all over again and try with how many mistakes you can go through with this. Okay, I believe it's switched on. Uh, this one. As you see, there are three different kind of liquids. Uh, the question is, why do they don't mix together? Why they are separate? Who knows? Does anybody know? Yes? Density. Density, exactly. Uh, are you a physics teacher? <laughs> You're thinking logically, right? And when I do like this, 
I can mix them to dig it together and after a short while, two or three minutes, if you, as you see blue is already down there and it will stay as it was again. These, put it on, put them on. Look at me, look at me. Come and give me five. I'll speak with you. <laughs> <laughs> Was it hard? <laughs> Everybody can try it, but don't walk downstairs with me. <laughs> Believe me, don't do that. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Try to touch the nose of your friend with the finger. Glasses on, cover your eyes, please. <laughs> touch the finger, the well, nose. The nose, the nose. Touch the nose. <laughs> Really funny. These uh, glasses are called drunk and dangerous. <laughs> yes, they are. This is a very easy one, it's nothing very unique here. You can make a tornado in a bottle. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. When it goes out, you can turn it around again and make a, make a tornado again. Uh, I think you will understand what you have to do with this one. You can take all the parts out and of course you have to put them all back afterwards. So uh, nothing uh, is left on the table. It would be good to do that. Okay, here we have a small house and here we have a solar panel on its roof. And uh, what you can do, you can... Uh, uh, this, this is like a sun going through the sky there. And you can uh, see at which daytime the solar battery is working the best. At the moment, we see that there is a very, very small electricity amount, and when the sun is going more to the midday, of course, it starts to work more effectively. And you, you can understand how you have to put your house, how you have to put your solar panel, and what, at what angle, and what are the obstacles that are. Uh, not allowing for the battery to work correctly. And also one more one, one is simple thing, how do you think in winter what would be the so, so the angle of the sun, higher or lower? Or the same? No. Of course you are from different countries, it's it's a bit hard, but in Latvia it's very, very typical for that the, the, the angle of the sun in winter is totally different than in uh, summer. But actually it should be the same also for you, for, for those uh, more warm countries of Europe. Uh, in winter the sun angle is lower, that's why you have longer shadows and that's why you have also a shorter day. But uh, how does it work like that? I will show you on this one. This, is the, uh, this would be the last. Now about this one, this is the last and then you will go around by yourselves, okay? What is this? How do you think? Eye. Yeah, exactly, that's an eye. And uh, these red... Laser beams are representing the light beams which are going from the sun or from the lightning. And we have a lens in each. Everybody has a lens from the birth in, in your eyes, yeah? And the task of this lens is to, uh, as you see, all the, those, laser, all those light beams are going into one focal point, in one point, and there is a retina, mm -hmm. such a... Such a organ in, your, in our eye. If the, those... Someone is trying those glasses. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know the sound. <laughs> Please remember about the stairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, if the, all those light beams are going into, into here on the retina, we see a very good and clear picture. But not uh, everybody has uh, these lenses working correctly. So. This is my situation. Uh, I can read book, I can use a smartphone, but in the distance I see very bad. My, I, I, I'm uh, short sighted. Yeah? And uh, as you see, those, those uh, light beams are not in the focal point on retina, it's much closer. How can we help to these people, how do you think, to this guy? How can we help to him? Mm. Yep. Give glasses, glasses. Glasses, exactly. Come and try which glasses would be appropriate for him. What do you think of what you have to do? Don't worry. You have to push it. It's like a magnet. So at the moment, uh, you pull out the, your lens from the eye and you put on the glass, right? Did I do like that when I want to... I don't take out my lens and put, don't put... Because you have to leave this one on. Because it's in your eye, you can't take it out. Where do you have to put glasses, how do you think? It's inside of the eye. 
Why do you put glasses outside? Yes, exactly, outside. And as you see, the number 5 gives us that needed effect. And if I would try that number 4, it's even worse, right? Okay, if, if this was a short sighted people, yeah, uh, what would be the other situation, how do you think? My situation. Yes, uh -huh. okay. But not the old, uh, the lens problem, not because I'm getting older. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, when I'm asking children uh, what kind of people usually have the problems to read something in clothes, they, they say that it's for old, old people, but when actually 45 or 50, it's not all. It's only a uh, middle age. No, but I had it half of the life length, half of the 100. So, uh, as you see, those light beams are uh, the focal point is behind the retina. And this, this, this guy at the moment uh, sees very clearly in the distance, but he can't make a focus in a short distance. And at this moment, which one would be good? Number five. Okay. No? Four, four. Four, yeah. Number four. As you can see, I can correct the set. All right. And now this one, the last one. Switch it off. I will ask you different kind of questions about it, if I can, if I may. So, what is this, how do you think? Uh, the Earth. The Earth, exactly. The model of the Earth. And what is this, how do you think? Sun. sun. The Sun. Okay. If this would be the correct size of the Earth, how do you think the Sun is the same size or bigger? Uh, bigger. 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 Much bigger. Like this, like this, like this, or like this, how do you think? Like this, maybe. Okay, let's see, like that. This is the uh, width of the Earth, the diameter of the Earth. How many kilometers? 12,800 12, kilometers. Quite a lot, right? What is the diameter of the Sun? 1,392,000 kilometers. So it means Sun is 109 times uh, larger than Earth. So if I would put 109 these Earth balls next to each other, I would have the size of the Sun. But at uh, that moment, this uh, sun model should be out of this building in size, and it's too hard for me to run around and show you something. So it's a bit smaller, yeah? All right. Uh, what circles around Earth around the sun or sun around the Earth? Earth around the sun. All right. And it does, it does like that. I, I almost killed the moon. <laughs> and uh, for how long time the Earth circulates? One, one year. One year. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Now I will ask very simple questions and you will answer by raising your hand. Because usually children are screaming uh, all together. So, uh, at this moment, where on earth do we have a daytime and where night time? I know it's a stupid question, but we will get... Yes, come and show. Where is the daytime and where is the night? There is the day and all right. there is night. Why there is a night time? Because uh, the sun doesn't shine. On the other side, yeah? yeah. Uh, I would say that there is a shadow on that side, right? Yeah. This is a shadow yeah. side. Okay, that's very easy. Now a bit harder question. Where is the morning and where is the evening? Any ideas? Yes, you can show again. Uh, All right, where is the morning? Yeah. Show me with the finger. Where is the morning and where is the evening? How do you think? Okay. Don't be afraid if you make mistakes. That's no problem. No problem. Okay, step back, step back, think a bit. Uh, anybody else can show where's the, where's the morning, where's the evening? Uh, there's morning, there's evening. How do you, uh, why, why do you think so? Uh, because... Uh, because... Earth. 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 Yeah, uh, okay, uh, as you see, this red arrow... <laughs> It shows you how does it. I understand it's hard for you to say because you, you can't find the right words in English. No worries. So Earth Earth rotates in this direction. That's why there is a red arrow. Does it help you to understand where's the evening, where's the morning? Yeah. Come and show. And can you show it? The evening and the morning. Yes. Can you show where is it? Do it logically. Don't try to morning, yeah. evening. No. Absolutely no. East. No. No. <laughs> East. No. 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 West. The morning here. Evening here. No. <laughs> Opposite. Yeah. Uh, I will show you why. Let's 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 uh, let's say. Um, give me to rotate. He, here's the Europe, right? Yeah. Here's the Europe. Now it's midday because yeah. the sun is shining on us. And if the Earth turns like that, at which moment it yes. goes into the darkness? Yes. Now. Now at this moment. So evening is here. 
here is the evening because you see now it's everything, yeah. everything is uh, bright and it goes into the darkness Europe so evening is here now in Europe it's night and morning on this side of course we rotate into the sun into the light again okay thank you please take your seat <laughs> all right uh, this was quite easy okay but now uh, a little bit more tricky question why do we have winters and summers on earth who knows the explanation? It's the Earth this... going around the Sun. All right, it rotates around the Sun. And when do we have winter, for example? Can you tell me? Why we have winter? Why because of the... Um... Uh -huh, okay, the... You, 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 you don't say anything more? I want to hear from yeah. others. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Any more ideas? Why do we have winters? Yep. Because uh, uh, the ashes of the Earth is not straight. It's... Yes. Wow, she knows. She knows the answer. That's cool. Usually, people are saying that Earth is circulating, circulating around the Sun in ellipse orbit. It's not a straight yeah. around, but an ellipse. Yeah. Uh, you may think that when we are a bit more farther from the Sun, then it's winter. Yeah. Not a bad idea. But then usually I ask that one. That why when in Latvia we have summer in Australia it's winter time? How is it possible? Hmm. at the same yeah. time. It's a bit tricky, yeah? yeah? When you think, oh, we are uh, more distance from the sun, now it's winter, but on the other side of the earth it's summer again. How does it come like that? And the uh, uh, correct answer is here. And the correct answer is here. This is a rotation axis of earth, yeah? imaginary rotation axis. It's not antenna nor. <laughs> uh, and as you see, the Earth is not standing uh, straight. It's with an angle, with a slanted angle. No. The red arrow shows that it's June at the moment, June of 21st. Uh, at which direction this one is uh, slanted to? What is here? The sun. here? the sun. You see, this rotation axis is to, uh, positioned to the sun, right? Let's see what happens in. What uh, happens in December? Now it's December, and on which direction is axis pointed to? Away from the sun, right? And let's see what the Europe. So it's easier for you to understand. At this moment, we can see that the, the Europe with the, all the Earth is like turned away from the sun a little bit, right? And what happens in the June again? We can see that with Europe, we are a bit closer to the sun again. Because Earth is not only rotating like that, but it does like that. It's wobbling all the time, yeah? Around the, around the sun. And at this moment in June, that's why Europe is closer to the sun a little bit, and the sun's the sun uh, beams are going straight to the uh, Europe. And in December, we can see that we are a bit away from the sun. About Australia, now when we have Christmas, winter, and etc., they have the hottest time of the year in December, because they are pointed towards the sun, exactly. And in June again, the opposite situation for Australia. They are pointed away from the sun, that's why they are having winters. But as they are really close to the equator, that means that the kangaroos don't have to wear winter hats, so it's not so, so cold out right there. Okay, uh, do you know, do, have you heard everything, anything about the a solar, a polar day or polar night? When there is like a two months of day all the time, mm -hmm. no night. <laughs> Do you know why does it happen? Mm -hmm. the, the same angle again. As you can see at this moment, June, I will put my finger on the Grand Greenland and if it rotates to here, the sun is still shining here, as you see. And so you can turn as you wish, the sun is always still here. Yeah? And in the December again, as you can see, you can do what you want, you can turn it how you want, but sun doesn't shine here, so it's polar night. And here, it's opposite again, yeah? It's very easy. And uh, one quite simple question, at uh, what, what date of the year we have the same length of the day and the night? The same length, as you think. July. The same length. Length. The same. The day is the same length as night. July. Nope. No, you know that in June the day is the longest and we have the shortest nights. So when it should be the same? March. March and? September. April. September. September, exactly. And you can see here why is it so. In December we have a very long night, right? 
because you can see that the most part of the earth is in the darkness, as you see. In the summer, again, the most, most uh, uh, territory of the earth is in the sun, but in uh, March 21, you can see that it's clearly on a half. The half of the earth is in the sun and the half is in the night. Yeah? And again in September 23rd, yeah, also the same situation. All right, and one more uh, final stupid question is why doesn't the, uh, why does polar bear polar bears white bears why do don't they eat penguins? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any idea why those polar white bears are not eating penguins? Yes, sleeping. No. Usually children say that they are kind of a vegetarians or they don't, <laughs> like, they, don't, they don't like the fur of the penguin. Does anybody know the right answer? Because yep. big. No, penguins are not so big. If the polar bear is yeah. like that, penguins like that. No, because it's not about the large penguins. No idea. No idea. Where does the polar bears live? Oh. <laughs> they are living here, and penguins are living here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> first, first, great question for children. Okay, that's it from my side. Now you can move on your own, do whatever you want. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you will have a chance to lift the car. This is a real car. Oh, sorry. This is a real Russian car. Weights more than one ton or more than 1,000 kilograms. And you have to lift it up by yourself with your hands. Yeah, I don't know how it's important if it's not in there very poor. Try to lift it first with this rope. Try to lift it. chance to lift the real car with your bare hands. Come on. <laughs> when you will go to back to your country, they will ask what 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 was the most interesting thing you did there? Drinking beer or eating something no, like this. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Now that you remember that. Got any ideas? Why did you? Why was you able to lift the car? You know it already. Do you know? Why? Why could you lift the car? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a lever. It maybe it reminds you also of uh, children's 
football mm -hmm. song, let's get swing. Mm -hmm. the swings. Yeah, it's the same actually, but the difference is that one arm of these swings is a little bit longer. It's seven meters, and that is only two meters. And uh, if this arm of the neighbor would be even longer, it would be much more easier for you to lift up the car. So, you hold this one. This mechanism actually is also a lever, the same idea. But the difference is that in place of car, here we have a box with stones. There is a 45 kilograms with stones. And we can use this, this energy of the stones, of stones uh, for throwing the ball. This is a catapult. All right. And uh, also you can try by yourselves how can you lift up the 45 kilograms with uh, one finger. And I wouldn't be able to do this here because you already need 45 kilos to lift it here. Okay, uh, you have the rope, you have the bolt, there's a ring, there are two more rings. Let's put this one in the middle and uh, stick the bolt to all the rings. Yep, so we fix it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So don't leave it on the ground. It's for my safety. I want to have all of my teeth after <laughs> your exertion. <laughs> <laughs> right. And the green ball. I'm going to put it in here. Thank you. And now and I have is, a very stupid question. A good idea in which direction the ball will fly? In that or in that direction? In that. So everybody who thinks that ball will go into that direction goes and try to catch the ball. That if someone thinks there, go and touch the ball there. You have five seconds to decide. And the group leader, you saw an official. A Paul, I want to see how the kids are going to react. Because it was hard to shoot the nuts. Shoot, 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 shoot the nuts. And your group leader will uh, will shoot. Uh, well, well, usually I got the ball to the ball and straight, not in that way. <laughs> So, yeah, but nobody back. thinks that it will go there. Yeah. Yes. So step back. Step back, step back. This is a real, real <laughs> weapon, <laughs> not low back. <laughs> uh, it's 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 a yeah. uh, Everybody is ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Wow! Oh. I said it's a real weapon. <laughs> but we have calculated that that ball is not going over the fence. <laughs> One more time, or it's enough for you? As you wish. <laughs> this is also, these are also levers that, which are used for controlling this equipment. <laughs> But try what kind of force you have to use to pull it here, to pull it here, or to pull it here. Why, why it's easier to lift it up here? Because you have to, how long, I don't know how to pulley. say. Yes, pulley, in English, pulley, pulley, yeah. But actually there are four pulleys. Yeah, even four. There is only one pulley, and it does not help you to do anything. It's only to change the direction of movement. You pull it down, it goes up. Here, you are already using one more moving pulley, which is moving all together with the weight. And it reduces the, the power for two times. If it weights 12 kilograms, now you have to weigh it in only six. Here, it's already a double. So that means here you have to lift up only three, three kilograms. And uh, imagine if you have to lift up, for example, 100 kilograms. And put four pulleys, of course you need a longer rope. Yes, that's true. You need a longer rope, but you can reduce the, the power for four times. It's a huge saving. And that's the way our lifts are working, elevators are working, and the trains and etc. So that you can uh, use less power. <laughs> Archimedes water pump, and you can do like this. You don't need electricity for rising up the water. You just turn it, and you can pull up the water. This uh, kind of construction has been used already for thousands of years in, in uh, ancient Egypt mm -hmm. for watering the, the fields. Uh, this is a solar pump. As you see, it's, it's working a little bit. Just a moment. If the sun would be up there, it would be working much more higher. Mm -hmm. 